Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can see, I've got the Nissan Leaf battery pack sniffer in a nice little enclosure. Uh, went ahead and took the aluminum cover that comes on this box and cut it. And I had previously modified the LCD by uh, filing the corners here with a round file so that the screws could engage it. And it's in there really well. It's, it's not coming out of there. I'm quite pleased with how that came out. And uh, it's always the hardest part of any design is packaging. But uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty nice. It's a nice small little box. And uh, go ahead and I'm hooked up to my other Nissan Leaf battery pack. Yesterday we were on that one. It's kind of hard to get back to that connector because I want to actually unplug it to show you what it does when it can't talk to a uh, battery pack. Since yesterday, there's been one firmware update. One of my YouTube viewers, uh, Dr. Segatron, pointed out that um, the first uh, or the second time through when it reads the average, when it calculates this average voltage here, it was uh, wrong the second time through. And what, it, what I do is I just take all 96 cells, add them together in an accumulator, and then divide by 96. But I wasn't clearing that accumulator, so the next time it goes through to calculate the average, instead of it starting off at zero, it's starting off at the last, at the actual, the previous average voltage, which it then added 96 more cells to for a total of 97 cells and divide it by 96. So over time, the uh, value would slowly creep up every time it cycled through. So that's been fixed. And uh, we'll let it cycle through here. And uh, actually what I'm gonna do, uh, trust me, the that's correct now. I'm going to uh, unplug it while it's running here. So I'll just pop this puppy off. And it's still got all of the cells in memory. So it'll just go through and still display them. Because when it, when it draws the little dots when it's reading it, it's actually when it goes and gets all that data. And then we're going to hit the end here, and we're going to jump back to the beginning. And we're looking, and uh-oh. We can't find it. And we'll time out. And then we reboot. And then we try again. So that's, that's what it'll do if it doesn't find a battery pack. So if you're in a situation where it cannot find the battery pack, that's bad. That means the uh, there's something horribly wrong with it. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can get this back in here. There we go. So if we just uh, plug that back in, it'll find it again. Found it. Yay. And then if I, oh, it's too late now. But if I unplugged it into then, that's when it's actually, essentially when it's looking for the pack, it's just looking for the... Um, status packet over CAN bus to come in. Um, but yeah, this is a better battery pack. It's got 14 bars. I don't know if I mentioned that uh, this one, this battery pack's only got like 10,000 miles on it, whereas my other one's got like 40 or 50,000 miles on it. So this one's a little newer, even though they're, um, they are identical, or should be exactly identical, the heater, it's got the heater pads in it and everything. So I lucked out and got two identical ones. But anyways, it uh, looks like this is all working fine. And I'll just let this uh, cycle through again so you can see that the average value is now correct. And uh, yeah, I think this will be the last video for this. And then if you're uh, hunting, you can battery pack hunting. You can kind of do one of these and it makes a nice little compact package depending on how big your, uh, your uh, battery pack is. I wish my cell phone focused better. You can do it. Okay, right, here's the average. Three point nine eight two. See, it doesn't drift anymore. It should always be between those two values. So yeah, it looks like everything's good. Yeah, this pack is actually really, really balanced. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.